Fuck this bike. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Good lord. It's good to be off that bike. I don't know who's happier, me or my ass. My name is Frank Fumick, and this is my life. Wow. That's not a good sign. It took me a while to figure it all out, but life has been good to me. I have two beautiful little girls. Hug and kiss. A very patient and supportive wife. You know, he wants to spend thousands on the race, but he wants to stay in the dumpiest hotel. In a business that provides a nice life for all of us. Hey, did you get the, the checks on the Philly flight yet? I like to think of myself as a pretty normal guy. Oh my God! Grace, uh, Ava, don't walk around here for a couple of minutes. Normal except for one thing. Just got to the top. It's freezing. I wouldn't say I'm your typical athlete. In fact, that, it's pretty extreme. That is oh. Jesus, all right, oh, don't let him hit my legs though. Ow, oh my God, ow. It's about 3.30, 4 in the morning, 35 degrees below zero. Here comes Frank, just the last few steps. Where the hell's the top? I push myself beyond what I think I'm capable of doing to see what I'm really made of. We've got a, uh, a nice little 12 mile swim, a 40 to 50 hour long bike ride, 560 miles, and then I'm looking at a 131 mile run. Little to no sleep. And for a while it was just a hobby, but all that changed on April 15th, 2013. After the Boston bombings, I finally felt like there was a reason for everything I had started. Well, two men are running with a purpose, and their journey began today at the Pentagon. That's right, because they're running from Arlington all the way to Boston to the marathon finish line there. You know, I thought how easily it could have been Chelsea and my girls waiting at the finish line, and that happened to them, so I just kind of wanted to honor them and, and sort of raise money at the same time. Now, I raise awareness and raise money for people in real need by pushing myself to the very limits of human endurance. So I'm trying to uh, raise money for his care. This family is still living that nightmare every single day, and so I just wanted to uh, not only raise money to help, help him, but just tell people that he's still alive and his family is still dealing with this every single day. My methods may be a little unorthodox. Mm. I, I have to have the worst diet possible of any athlete I've ever heard of. See you tomorrow. <laughs> and yes, I know my obsession is making life crazy for everyone. Easter Sunday, he was on the bike till probably 10 at night. Even my 101-year-old grandmother is chiming in. You gotta stop, and you gotta stop now. You got those two little girls you gotta think about. But you only get one chance at this life and I'm determined to get the very most out of each and every day. As I like to say, it's gonna get ugly, <laughs> but it's gonna get done. Okay, so find three skeletons, one camera. They'll know our last moment of misery. I'm suffering a, a severe case of HAFE. Not HAFE, high altitude pulmonary edema, but HAFE, high altitude farting extreme. And it could pose a real threat to both of our safeties. <laughs>